Hello there. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be an in-depth hero guide for Obi-Wan Kenobi and we'll be looking into his playstyle, best star cards and tips and tricks for his abilities. Starting off with Obi-Wan Kenobi's playstyle, I believe him to be one of the better heroes in this game because of how well rounded he is. In Heroes vs Villains, he's decent. He's good at protecting friendly blasters from enemy saber heroes because of his high defensive stamina. But it's in 1v1 duels where Obi-Wan Kenobi shines. It's key to play Obi-Wan Kenobi offensively in 1 vs 1s. His defensive rush is well paired with his mind trick because together it gives Obi-Wan invincibility. There's no way your enemy can damage you if they're mind tricked and you're in defensive rush. So you can use it to safely regen health and stamina or you can quickly go on the offense and turn the tide of the duel. I do see quite a few people playing Kenobi defensively but as he likes to say, the strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. I can pretty much guarantee you that equipping offensive star cards and playing Obi-Wan offensively will grant you more success than hiding behind incredibly high stamina and 400 health regen. Moving on to some tips and tricks for Obi-Wan's abilities. After a force push, Obi-Wan can lunge after an enemy by keeping your reticle near their body and swinging immediately. When ragdolled, enemies that are mind tricked will be able to use their abilities again, even if it seems like they're still under the effect of mind trick. Obi-Wan can do a double defensive rush to deal extra damage by immediately pressing R1 after pressing R2. This does go through blocks if you're on an angle. Obi-Wan can get enough momentum from a lunge or a dodge to do a hook swing. This is something that only a few characters can do, and it's pretty neat. All you have to do is hold block and then jump immediately after dodging or doing a lunge attack. If you don't know how to lunge, check out my how to lunge video. As mentioned in the previous aspect of this video, Obi-Wan Kenobi is completely invulnerable to damage if you're in defensive rush and your enemy is my direct. A good combo is to use defensive rush, dodge backwards, lunge, and then go for a hook swing. For Obi-Wan's best star cards, you'll always be wanting to run quick and focused and forward. Both these star cards buff Obi-Wan's offensive abilities, making him much more well-rounded. Quick and Focus is an incredibly underrated star card that reduces the charge up time for Obi-Wan's push by 0.5 seconds. This might not sound like much, but it is super good. In Heroes vs Villains, you can run perfect defense if you want, so you get that extra stamina, so if you're in a 3v or 4v1 situation, you can hold your own until your teammates come to help you. For 1 vs 1 duels, I like to run Think It Over. The extra 1.4 seconds is super useful. In these hero guides, I'm not going to tell you to run the very overpowered star cards like Jedi Resilience, Sith Controlled, and Flesh is Weak. These star cards are very good, but I don't like to run them in 1v1 duels because it's unfair, they're too OP, and in tournaments these cards are actually banned because of how overpowered they are. But if you want to play casually and just use Jedi Resilience, go for it, but I like to run Think It Over instead. Here are a couple duels I've had with Obi-Wan recently that display the things I've mentioned in the previous aspects of this video. So enjoy, have a great day, and I'll see you out on the battlefront. Sorry for the mess. I won't you. Uh. Uh. 
to everything the Jedi stand for. Your purpose is glorious. Ah! 